All right, it's a nice day in the Dominican Republic. It's it's early in the morning on the 12th of January. Yeah, here, look, this is the reverse beacon network. It's showing my signal on 10 meters being picked up in the United States. I was calling CQ a little bit while, a little, a little earlier on 28027. And I also spotted myself on the, uh, the packet network system dx cluster listen also been read rereading from adams to amperes by fa wilson all right so look if you if you look out there in the backyard you can see the uh the shack and i'm going to give you a tour of the shack but i want to show you what was happening on the reverse beacon network also i'm shooting this thing again because the last time i did it my phone recorded the whole thing in vertical mode and that's not very very cool but look at that man look at that reaching out boom now i'll tell you something uh, in case i forget but uh, right after i called cq the cq that's being shown here and after i had spotted myself on the uh the packet cluster my cq was answered by gm4 golf mic 4 ata golf mic 4 ata over there in scotland and he gave me a 339 but i made it across the pond which was which was fun and i worked in another station in north carolina that was good too but let me go out and i'm going to show you a little bit about the uh the shack here hopefully keep the phone in the uh horizontal mode here I'm walking out temperature's about 74 degrees right now it's, it's in the morning and so come on out here i'd i'd set this thing up earlier i don't leave it out because it, it does rain here from time to time but it rains quickly Anyway, look, so we'll come down here. Here's the shack. This is it. Look, I have the microphone plugged in. I have things set up on, on sideband. You guys might be more interested in sideband. So let me turn it up here a little bit. That goes down into the beacon area. A lot of beacons on 10. We've got to set up on USB. This is the micro bit X. change the uh, tuning steps down 100 hertz. Not a lot of super loud signals now. It's getting a little bit closer to midday here. Delta Kilo for Charlie Radio. Absolutely. I want to land for 
ICM. The X is rolling in. It's about uh, 10 30 in the morning here. Let me show you the insides here. There's the, uh, the, the innards, the guts of the micro bit X. I put a little AF filter in here. And then um, a little active AF filter. I've got a little additional mic amp over there. The relay really just allows me to use this thing with a um, external amplifier, which I don't have here, of course, but I have a little uh, speaker inside the box. So I'll show you what happens when we go down to, go down to CW. So first of all, I, what I do is I change the, uh, I change the mode. Let's go down to um, changing the mode here. Go down to CW upper. And then I'm going to change the tuning steps. Well, tuning steps are just, you hold the thing down longer. And we're going to move quite a bit, so I'll move it to 1,000, 1,000 hertz. So that lets me move kind of quickly here. We'll move down to just above 28 megahertz. Here, S. There's FTA. Wow, boom. There's CW signals. I'll change the tuning step here now. Long hold. Down to 100 hertz. Let me put the filter in, watch. show you guys the antenna look here's the antenna connector on the back watch disconnect the universe connect the universe <laughs> coax goes up 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 into that branch there and I got one end of the dipole coming down here one end of the dipole going down that way anyway I'm having more luck on CW with this thing. I think when I get back to the States, I'm gonna take this thing back with me. And I think I'm gonna replace the IRF 510s in the final with some of these um, Mitsubishi RD6 chips that I've been hearing about. I use one on one of the rigs. It gives a, a better response at the higher HF frequencies. The uh, power out on this thing with the IRF 510s falls off pretty significantly. Let's turn around CW a little bit more here. Turn off the filter. Like I said, it was fun. I worked GM4 ATA this morning. Me calling CQ after spotting myself. Filter helps me tune in better. You can see. Without the filter, it's tunable over a really broad range. You can't really be sure if you're getting close to the 600 hertz. There you go. Now, you, you know you're pretty much on 600 hertz, so you'll be on the same spot when you transmit. You'll be able to hear you. You'll be in this pass band. All right. So anyway, that's the, uh, the rig. Let me give you the panoramic view here. Pretty good over there. You got, let's see here. It's pretty nice. 
nice day in the DR. All right, that's it for now. 7-3 from Hotel India 7, stroke November 2, Charlie, Quebec Radio 7-3.